All right, guys, super excited. I got my man Kyle here with us. Super excited about what's in this box. So we're gonna unlock, un unbox this thing um, and show you what we have inside this box. And then we're gonna tell you a little bit about my man Kyle and his story, his journey um, of being online, sharing his expertise with the world, making an impact and how that impact is actually tangibly um, creating a ripple effect in other people's lives, which I, uh, which matters to me and matters to Kyle. And uh, we wanna inspire you that whatever it is that you're trying to do, you can make happen. You can make a reality. That's the objective of this video. Uh, we want you to know that it's possible. Um, sometimes it's hard. Uh, sometimes you're gonna have to go through challenging moments, but that's all part of your journey. And so I'm looking forward to sharing Kyle's journey with you. The challenge, challenging times that he went through so you can learn from his experience. So hopefully you don't have to go through those hard experiences yourself and you can take a faster path to creating success like Kyle has for him and his family. So let's get this thing open. Let's Heck show yeah. it all. Yeah, pumped, I've been waiting. All right, let's get this open. Click funnels like to make it hard huh. to open the box. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Woohoo. They wrap it good, huh? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Let's talk about the impact in the people's lives who you've been able to help your audience go from, you know, doing you know, over six figures through Facebook groups. Yeah, so, so like what's their life like? Like tell me a story of oh, someone. Yeah, I got a good one. Okay. Okay, so uh, there's this this uh, guy from Venezuela. His name is Brandon, and he grew up in Venezuela and he came to the US for a better life. He wanted to, uh, you know, find opportunity here. It's a terrible place over there. But uh, one of the first things that he was attracted to was real estate investing. Because you can get in, you don't have to risk your credit, you don't have to use your own money. And he's like, this is it. I can make a lot of money without putting much money into it. Uh, but he struggled for about a year and a half. He didn't have a job. He didn't have an income. The only thing he was doing was trying to get these real estate deals. And he went a year and a half without even doing his first deal. Made no money that entire time. He came and joined my program and made six figures within two months. Nice. So he came to the US for opportunity mm -hmm. and for freedom. Mm -hmm. He didn't find it immediately. Mm -hmm. He struggled like many of us. He came to me, I showed him, showed him something that works. Mm -hmm. And that was the vehicle that he needed. He had the work ethic mm -hmm. and he had the desire, but he didn't have the right vehicle to get yeah. there. So that's what I was able to do is give him the right vehicle and he's taken off. That's since awesome. Then. And guys, I mean, there is tons of opportunities with Facebook groups. I remember uh, interviewing Dean Graziosi on the launch with Tony Robbins and, 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 and Dean, the one that they just did. And one of the things I asked him was if he was to rewind the clock and start from scratch, what, he'd, what would he do to get traffic? And one of the things he said is he would jump into Facebook groups and not pillage those Facebook groups, meaning hunt and salvage leads, but go and add value to those groups and by adding value, attracting the right people that want to serve, that, that, that you can serve. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah 100%. Right? So um, we use groups for many different things now. We use groups to uh, find the real estate deals. We also use groups to grow our coaching business and our inner circle. And we use groups to hire our team. We have a 100% commission-based team. They don't make a salary. They only make commission if they get deals done. And we go and recruit them from Facebook groups. Now the type of group that you're posting in is very important. It's gonna determine what you can get away with and what you can't. So if you go into local groups, like community-based groups, marketplace groups, 
I can do a post saying, hey, I'm looking for a property, we're willing to pay in cash, is anybody uh, looking to sell fast? And that's compliant. I can get away with that, right? But if I was to go into, say, uh, another uh, investment coach, if I was to go into his group and just start posting and saying, hey, does anybody need help with lead generation? I've got your back or something like that, something spammy, then I'd get kicked out. Right. I'd get blogged. And if you get kicked out of too many groups, you uh, go to Facebook jail, you end up in the slammer. <laughs> right. Which means that you can't post don't in groups. Don't want that. Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> and you can't post in other people's groups for up to two weeks, it kills all of your momentum. So you really gotta know what types of groups you're posting in and what you can get away with. And if you're posting in an influencer group or a group that's a little bit more strict rather than a marketplace group, then you're going to need to bring value. It's more about relationship building, yeah. right? It's just like uh, when I go to an event, like when I went to your event, the difference is if I was to go there with a bunch of brochures in my hand and just start handing them out to everybody, everybody would have been turned off by it. I wouldn't have had any new relationships. I wouldn't have any new uh, partnerships or get anything from that. But instead, when you go to these types of events, you sit down, you get to know people on a deep level, make friends, build relationships. That's the most important piece. That's the key, and, and you, uh, that's beautifully said. Um, you don't wanna be the guy that you first described, right? Going with the brochures and putting on men in everybody's seats. Yeah. And you don't wanna be that guy. You just don't wanna be that guy. Not putting coupons under their windshield. Yeah, no, you yeah. don't wanna be that guy. You wanna be the guy that is there making friends. Think about like a party. Right. You, know, you have at your house, right? Like you don't want some guy at your house pitching everybody on their newest network marketing opportunity, right? It's the same same thing really, right? Yeah. Um, question, Kyle, um, what is one, uh, I would say one big tip that you can give everyone uh, around your journey that you wish you would have known when you started, but you figured out through, um, through both trial and error and through uh, feed, getting true feedback from the marketplace? Yeah, that's that's a great question. So um, I've been an entrepreneur for a long time. I've been in sales and direct marketing for a decade now. And all of that was commission-based, 100% commission-based, no salary. I've, I've been in that world for a long time. And, but I was working for other companies. I worked for DirecTV. I was uh, number seven top salesperson in the nation with them and I was capped out. I would never get past $30,000 a year. I'm like, okay, I'm tired of working for people. I have this skill I can sell. Why don't I just go work for myself? Simple enough, right? No, it wasn't. I struggled for a long time, had many businesses fail, and I thought I could do this with a YouTube education. Mm -hmm. Like I watch YouTube videos. Why would I pay for any education when it's all free on mm -hmm. YouTube? That was a mistake and I wasted years of my life doing that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I found a mentor that I was able to collapse time, shorten that learning curve, and excel. Yeah, that's great. That's great feedback. And I would echo that as well. When I got in this industry back in 2006, I realized that really quickly that it wasn't, I never got my second degree black belt, which I have, by watching YouTube videos. That's ridiculous, right? I would have never got my second degree black belt in Taekwondo by watching YouTube videos. And the light bulb for me went off. I had a sensei. I had someone who's already been there, who could challenge me, he could start give me perspective of already being through the process themselves, one. Two, helping other people get across the finish line. Yeah. Two, that's very, those two are critical. So I would echo that as well. Find someone who has the results you want and who has helped other people produce that evidence as well. And I would propose the more evidence they have, I call that a mountain of evidence, the more evidence that they have, that means the more people that they've taken through their process. And if you're listening to this right now and you're uh, you know, in, say, Kyle's shoes and you wanna use your knowledge, your expertise, your skills to create a business that blesses other people, if you want to reach high levels of success and abundance, become obsessed with helping other people produce results. Everything changed for you, Kyle, with what I just heard. Yep. Everything changed with a very important question that I asked you, which was how many people have you helped to get past six figures. Yeah. And at the time, back in the day, before we met, you hadn't helped anyone get it. Right. But then you, uh, the light bulb went off and you're like, shoot, okay, I need to come at this at a different perspective. Exactly. And he did, and then he became obsessed with it, and then he started to make manufacture that outcome. Listen, at the end of the day, 
the results that you're able to produce using your expertise and skills is why people are gonna pay you. So become obsessed about helping other people produce results, whatever those are, whether they're business, whether they're health, whether they're relationship, doesn't matter what they are, people are paying for results. In fact, that's why self-education is growing from 400 million a day to a billion a day, according to Forbes.com, by 2025. So um, any parting words that you, or encouragements that you would have for anyone who's listening? Yeah, it's, it's so funny. It wasn't until I let go of this mm. and caring so much about that Mm. and caring about results more that everything changed for me. And once I helped that uh, 20 year old kid from Venezuela pass his first six figures, that's what I got addicted to. That's what I got hooked to. How many lives can I change? How many people can I help cross that finish line? So important, I gotta echo that. So I hear this all the time. So many people are obsessed about getting this award, which this award is pretty epic. Don't get me wrong. Thank you, Russell, for creating it. It's amazing. And the whole team, you guys are amazing. But it's not about the award. The award is the evidence of the impact. And the faster that you wake up to, what does that impact look like tangibly? Think about it. What does the impact in other people's lives look like tangibly that you can help them produce? That's why people are gonna pay you. So everything becomes easier when you put that at the forefront of your focus, put that on your vision board. How many times do we sit down with people and I ask about goals and they always say, I wanna get the two comma club or I wanna make X amount in X time. Listen, I have sat down with over 500 people now privately one-on-one -on -one to map out their funnels, their emails, their scripts. Inevitably, 95 to 99% of the time, it's always income-related goals. I would challenge you to think beyond that, okay? Money is a, is, is, is a tool and it's a measuring stick of how well you're making an impact. And so I hope, I hope you hear that. I would challenge you to think a little differently because when you think differently, you're able to take your take your your game to the next level, which is exactly what you did. So congratulations, man! Super uh, proud of you for uh, putting in the work because you yeah. did it. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks awesome. so much. You're welcome. If that story that Kyle just shared inspired you in some way, shape, or form, if you have an expertise, you have an obligation to help other people with it. Again, I said this before and I'll say it again, self-education is growing to a billion a day. Are you gonna take advantage of it? More importantly, are you gonna take advantage of this opportunity to make a dent in the universe like Steve Jobs talked about? What does that dent look like? If you'd like to take the fastest path to getting here and beyond this, to getting to the next level, to Comic Club X, or the next level beyond that, we've done that for a lot of people now. In fact, we're one of the top agencies in the entire ClickFunnels community to help people like Kyle and like the number of people that we've helped. And we'd love to help you. That's what we do for, for, for a living. We do this every single day of our lives and we love it. Uh, and we would love to help you. So I would encourage you to schedule a call with my team and discover uh, our process and what that would look like for us to come alongside of you and allow you to focus on what you're the best in the world at while you let our team handle what we're the best in the world at. We are a boutique marketing agency. What that means is that we're not a factory. We don't outsource things to the Philippines. We're made in the USA. And I can proudly say that because everyone on our team, which is more than 20 people from around the country, are in the United States and they're the best in the world at what they do, whether it's branding, video production, copywriting, funnel development, offer creation, selling. We've got your back. We have, I have found that the fastest path to success in this industry is it's not about what, it's not about how, it's about who. Russell Brunson said that at Funnel Hiking Live a couple years ago. And I think that was one of the most brilliant things that he said. It's not about what you know, it's not about how you're gonna do it. It's about who, who's in your corner helping you on the path. You heard Kyle's story. He referenced how important mentorship was. I've also echoed how important mentorship was on my journey. Having people in your corner is the fastest path. Russell didn't build ClickFunnels by himself. He's got a team of hundreds of people. Tony Robbins didn't build his business himself. He has a lot of people. I didn't build my business myself. I have a lot of people that are helping me. Kyle didn't build him. He didn't try to do it himself either. 
he did in the beginning, like we all have, and realized really quickly that he wasn't gonna get there by himself. And who wants to do it by themselves? That's boring. That's not fun at all. It's fun when we're doing things together. There's a collaborative effort there. So I would encourage you, if you want to take the faster path to getting to this level and beyond and truly making an impact on other people's lives, schedule a call. It's free. It's a 30 minute conversation to learn about our process and how we can help you with whatever it is that you need help in. We cover everything from marketing and advertising and selling online, and we'd love to help you. So just click the link, schedule your call, and let's see if you're a good fit.